I have my test here for React Native app that's using React Native Web to run in the browser. The test passes, it verifies there is a bot. Let's verify maybe those links are present as well. Currently, I'm using the role attribute because React Native Web automatically converts buttons, link, or it adds the role for those elements so that accept accessible. And also, it has to be accessible to be acceptable to me. Okay, so notice those role links. Uh, always using role button as an attribute, CSS selector gets started some very, very quickly. So instead, why don't we abstract the selector? We can do simple things. The simplest thing is to create a little utility function that will just create the role attribute selector for us. So I'll say role selector, and it will say role name, and it will just return role equals whatever role you pass in. Okay, so we can say instead of always typing the full thing, we can just say give me whatever it has a role button. Okay. Now, it's kind of long, so we can shorten to RS, okay? We can use it in other places. Let's say RS link, and we can say, give me the link, uh, let's say, create React app, create app, okay? So we can use it like this. Another alternative is to write a custom command. So we can say Cypress commands add, and we should give it a name, let's say, by role. Okay, so we want to add new site command saying by role. And it can take arguments. For example, in this case, I'll say role. And now we can say sci get. So instead of contains, we just say get. Get uses CSS selector. And we can say role, right? So we're going to form the full attribute selector and we're going to return this. All right. So how do we use it here? Instead of um, sci contains, we can say sci by role and say link, all right, and should contain, say create the act app, okay? So found three elements with role link and one of them has create the act app. Or we can extend this and say, um, you know, contains by role or text by role. And we can say, role text and will return contains. So we're replacing this contains with a new command and we don't need this additional wrapping. So functions, functions as before. We can provide custom command log right here instead of uh, site contains and so on. Another thing that we want to probably do, we don't want to define it in a spec. We probably want to define it somewhere else. A good place for this is to move it into the support file, okay? So right now it's pretty much empty, it just imports commands. We recommend you add all your commands or custom commands here that you want for your project. So if we add this here, our text still passes. And it passes because what Cypress does, first it bundles up the support file, okay? And loads it first. So if I look at the network and I looked at JavaScript, and I load it. Uh, okay, notice right here. First, Cypress loads the support file, all bundled, and then it loads the integration spec. So in reality, mo moving those custom commands to commands and support file is the same as having them right uh, at the start of my spec file, because it loads first. So this is how easy it is to create custom commands so that you can abstract access by accessibility roles in your Cypress test.